Recently, I had the opportunity to sit down with Sawmill and Mike with Unionist Creation and Rising Consciousness. The event I attended had an ice bath, sound bath, movement and breath work. Join me while we sit down and talk about what they're doing in the community. What you guys are trying to promote? So Unionist Creation? Yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Sawmill? Am I saying that right? Sawmill? Sawmill? So it's like a sawmill without a W but a U. Sawmill. 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 <laughs> and Mike? Yeah. So what, tell me everything that you guys are doing. I, this is the first time I got to experience this uh, ice bath and breath work and I'm kind of high from it now so let me just let them do the talking. They're, they're more important right now anyway so tell me. Not true. <laughs> when you want to talk about you are the preeminent bowl player in the city, you should spend a moment just talking about that. Just spend a moment. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm Sawmill, and Unionist Creation is the company I built two years ago. I think ever since I left the Montreux Trigger Co op and Universal Fest. And so the reason why I um, came up with that name is so that. It's like a bridge or like to unite everybody where we have no labels, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, spirituality, it means there's no hierarchy, which means we're all equal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so, Union's creation is to basically build bridges to bring people together, to unite. Beautiful. Right, just like, like yeah. yoga needs to unite. Yes, yes. Well. So that, that was the whole concept of why it came up. Me and my wife came up with it mm -hmm. and then the whole logo and everything. Mm -hmm. So that's how that started. And then with the bowls, it's been it's been a beautiful journey. You know, yes. I started the cistern has really helped out with the journey in the last three years. I've been at Discovery Green for six. Mm -hmm. So the whole process and the whole I would say the evolution and growth has become because of the bowls, because of the breath work. We have men's it's like evolving. Everything is. Everything yes. is. And you it's know so it's cool. I'm elevating is what I like to say. Yes. Instead of saying I'm getting high, I'm, I'm elevating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna use that word from now on. <laughs> Elevate. That's yeah. a good word. I like that. Yeah. So if anyone asks me, oh so you look high, I'm elevating. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah, and you know, this month the uh, Texas Texas Highways um, did an article on the cistern and that was written in it as well. Oh, wow. So it's pretty cool. It's a 300,000 publication. So it's been on there for 50 years. I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah. And, and then, of course, waves. yeah, I know. And then me and Mike have been doing a lot of things together. We're doing a yoga retreat mm -hmm. with Tammy and Jennifer, which I think is going to be a good three days of getting to know who you are and hopefully leveling up like we've all done. Mm -hmm. You know, I, oh, the only thing that I can help out is my experiences mm -hmm. in life and the way I feel, and the way I know that I can trust where I'm going mm -hmm. and not allow others to taint my vision, to taint my judgment or anything like that. So I just go through life trusting that everything I've done led me to here. Right, so, right. And that's what basically how me and Mike and we all do our thing, just trusting where we go in life. And right. so, forth. so and we, we work well together with the yin and the yang. You know, okay. so it, yeah, I'm gonna say that because we are opposites in how we approach things. He's more scientific, mm. I'm more feeling. <laughs> I totally I understand feel. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the thing is, is that because of Mike, I've evolved in my life. Mm -hmm. So it's it's definitely a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. so. Well, and it's it's such a I'm grateful too because like I, I feel and I was just having a conversation with somebody else is that um, there's areas in the world that do not have the opportunity. I mean, we're in Houston, a big city. Mm. And, um, you know, you would think these things are all over the place for people to come and experience this kind of stuff, but it's not. Like, I'm just 20 miles in, in north, you know? Yeah. They don't have these, these opportunities. So I'm grateful that you guys are, are expanding and growing and people are getting to know who you are and what you're doing. It's, it's amazing. So thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. Creating space. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're quiet. <laughs> I'm not even No, no, no you're quiet, Mike. <laughs> I'm not liking that. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I love these events. Uh, and whenever you were saying the union is creation, I was kind of thinking, I founded a company called Rising Consciousness five years ago and I haven't done anything with it. <laughs> and other than now I changed it to my uh, Instagram profile, but I haven't 
the original intention was to use all these modalities that have helped me mm -hmm. to help other people, like the movement. The breath. Breathe in deeply. Release. The hot and cold exposure. You got this. The fasting, the earthing, quiet stillness, etc. Just all these modalities that a lot of people over the centuries of the millennium have used to raise their consciousness, to raise their level of awareness, to improve their lives and the lives of all these people around them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's working. You're doing the thing, whether you change the, the name or create the right. company, you're still doing the work, right? Right. You're still doing it. And that's that's the important thing. Open in, open in the space, having people come to get the experience and showing them that they don't have to live their lives the way they, they are in pain or suffering or um, whatever they're dealing with in their current life situation, you know? Right. If you can change it, you have that power. Right. Well, I mean, Matt is like the, the prime example, and I don't remember exactly what his diagnosis was, but he got some diagnosis like back in October or something. The kidney and, and they were gonna, they had this crazy regimen, potential surgery and stuff. And it's like, no, you just need to clean up your diet yeah. and you're back in the gym, yeah. and and yeah, and you saw him now. It's like he's fine. Yeah. He didn't do any of this shit. Yeah. And, and it's like, and from my experience, unless you have a wound where blood is gushing out of you or a broken bone, there's very few things the medical establishment is going to do to put you in a better spot. And people just need to start empowering themselves with mm -hmm. knowledge on how to care for themselves, like high blood pressure heart disease, diabetes, mm -hmm. and a host of other things should never be something you should go to the doctor. I mean, all those things, just things that you can easily cure on your own at mm -hmm. home in under a month. Mm -hmm. And just the fact that that's not common knowledge. Yeah. Well, again, the fact that we spent the last three years of this pandemic thing going yeah. on. And it's, oh, like, that. <laughs> it, it's like, okay, so if you really want people to not get sick and die from stuff, you show them how to be stronger and healthier and I can't think of one thing that was done by the CDC or any pharmaceutical organization or any government body to begin with that made anybody stronger or healthier. Right. And anyway. No, I get it. Becoming more intuitive to, to how you feel inside your body and these practices are doing that. Before. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, it's like everything. It's like you need somebody to guide you to show you the basics and the rudimentary principles and then once you have that then you're off to the races on your own and you don't need anybody telling you what's wrong yeah. with you or what's not wrong with yeah. you you know these things yeah you know and i also one of the i heard it a lot surprisingly oh, this went off but uh surprisingly i heard it a lot that uh people uh felt disconnected mm -hmm. and this these kind of practices bring them back to their body bring them right. uh, back to to be able to calm down and feel what's happening so I'm being disconnected from everything. Absolutely. And so again, I thank you guys. Uh, I'm going to hopefully share this on all the social medias and all the stuff to get the word out that you guys are doing these amazing, wonderful things. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope. Yes. Thank you. Thanks to Mike and Sawmill for this opportunity and what they are creating in the community. Thank you for watching and sharing. Your support helps me to continue this work. Until next time, be love and namaste.